Good morning, everybody, and we want to say a Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, today, Jenny and I are over here in Carlsbad, New Mexico. We are going up to Cranberry, New Jersey. We decided we're going to go ahead and work through Christmas and then uh, take off New Year's. We won't quite make it back from New Jersey by New Year's, but we'll be there maybe the 2nd or 3rd of January. So uh, we wanted to make this video uh, just to say a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, also, I'm going to go outside here in a minute and I'm going to show you um, this trailer. This is the first moving van trailer that I've hauled. So I uh, might as well give you a good look at it and let you see what it looks like. Um, it's just a standard moving van trailer if you know what they look like so it won't be anything too impressive but this is from a company called New World and they had a bunch of trailers ready to go over the holidays so they uh, I guess they they hired uh, outside carriers to haul some of these trailers so I'll give you a, a good look at it as I go outside all right all right so as I'm outside I'm gonna go ahead and check the lights and show you the trailer the lights the sunlight's a little bit bright shining on it but hopefully you get a good view of it and uh, it's from a company called New World uh, Van Lines and so uh, pretty nice trailer it's got doors everywhere so they can load from any side <clears throat> but uh, and this is loaded I don't know with what because they didn't have any bills for it but uh, Anyway, you can get a good look at it here. Of course, all the lights are working. I have checked them all. And there's locks, padlocks on every door, of course, so nobody opens it and nothing winds up missing. <clears throat> but, oh, and you can see on the axles they have the auto inflators those lines go into the center of the axles those are auto inflators so that the tires are always at the proper uh, air pressure some people like those some people don't I tend to like them because it's a little less hassle as long as they're working you know and they don't leak but you can see the doors everywhere on these trailers so you can load from anywhere that's it that's what they look like that is a moving van trailer and like I say we're headed to Cranberry New Jersey we'll be up there in about three more days so we got about uh, just around 2,000 miles left all right all right everybody so we've done all our checks our truck is ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and do my tug test I always tug twice just to make sure that's a pretty good tug test. Now we know, always know the direction you're going to pull out of the truck stop. We know we're going to the right. We're going to follow 62 for a while and split off on the US 82. Or, I think so, yeah, US 82. <clears throat> so we take off nice and gently, keep checking our mirrors even though no one's around us. There are probably not going to be a whole lot of trucks on the road today. Uh, most people will have shut down for the day, but uh, we want to get up to New Jersey. They want this trailer to be there by Friday if we can make it. And so that shouldn't be a big problem to make it by Friday. Well, it depends on traffic. Hopefully it's not bad. Nah, there ain't going to be no traffic. It ain't coming that direction. No. I gotta swing out a little bit to try to avoid as much of this curve as possible. There we go. Is that you? Yeah, I got the steering wheel cranked all the way to the right. So it made that, now, that noise? Yeah. All right, and once again, we're here in, in Carlsbad, New Mexico. We stopped at the house real quick. Um, to pick up our permits when the first of the year comes. You've got to have those new permits on, especially the IFTA. Uh, they will be checking the first five days if you got your IFTA. 
and uh, so I picked up, we picked up the permits, uh, picked up a few things, picked up a, uh, uh, a bunch of Jenny's cubes so that she can uh, work on her cubes. One of these days on the channel, I'm going to have her solve, uh, I think you've already solved one of the cubes while we were doing a video, right? Or you were working on it, I can't I remember. I working on it. But uh, she's pretty good at solving, she's really good at solving a 3x3, three three, and That's she's easy. got 4x4, four four, a couple 4x4s, four and a couple 5x5s, five five and she's got this one right here, which if you can see is a Mega Minx, and this thing, she can solve. How long does it take you to solve this one? Well, it's been a while, but before it should take me like 15 minutes. 15? 30 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes most time, but as long as 30 minutes sometimes. So one day she'll uh, she'll solve that on camera for you, probably while I'm talking. So you'll be able, since it's 360, you can look at my beautiful face or you can look at her beautiful face. Uh, either way. But all well, right. Well, like Mike said. <laughs> he, he, turned, got, he got tired of looking at your face, so he had to turn the camera. Yeah, he always. Beautiful. My friend Mike, who watches our channel, he always turns the camera to Jenny, so he's got something nice to look at, and so he can hold his meal down. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. But listen, y'all have a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll be posting some more videos soon. All right, thank you.